If you've been following this channel for a while, you're likely familiar with the Timeline View, one of the most effective ways to track projects in Notion databases alongside the Common Board View. However, when it comes to managing more complex projects, you might want to take things a bit further by adding two powerful features, sub-items and dependencies. Let's break them down. Hey friends, welcome back to Notion Days. So if you're managing projects, Kanban boards and timeline views are great. But once your projects start to grow in complexity and you have precise deadlines to meet, it gets harder managing everything from one flat list. That is where sub-items and dependencies come in. They create a clearer structure and smarter relationships between tasks. Before we get started, I just want to say that the sub-items and dependencies are not specific to any particular view, but the timeline view is clearly the most suitable for them, so it's the only one I will focus on. So first, what are sub-items? Sub-items allow you to break down a task into smaller actionable steps. So to enable them, open your database settings, go to more settings, then sub-items, and turn on sub-items. Now if you turn your database into a task database, the sub-items are then called sub-tasks. To do so, just go back to more settings and turn into tasks. Then you will have to fill the two bottom fields. The one at the top, assignee, is optional. Pick a property that represents status, so mine does not have a name. One that represents due date, so deadline, and then click turn into task database. Now, if I go back to more settings, as you can see, it says subtasks and not sub items anymore. So I added a few subtasks and I will now click on the option. I can then change how parent and child tasks show. So by default, they are nested in a toggle, as you can see, but depending on my needs, I can also display parents only. Then an arrow appears with the number of child tasks next to it. I can show a flattened list where both parents and child items appear next to each other. And so the child pages are linked to the parent page with its name written next to them as well. And finally, if I click disable, it does not show the parent page's name anymore next to the child items. Now the last option is to go to the advanced settings. And then from here, I can choose the relation property that represents the sub items. So you can switch parent and child items. If you want to revert back to normal, just click turn off subtasks and then you can either delete the associated properties that were created along with the sub items named blocking and blocked by or keep them. Now dependencies let you indicate which tasks rely on others. So this makes it easy to block tasks until a prerequisite is complete, for example, to shift timelines when delays happen and also to see task chains clearly in your timeline view. So to set this up, you can open your database settings, go to more settings, dependencies. Now we can choose how we want dates to shift. So basically if I move a page, how the other pages will behave. There are three choices. By default, the date change only when pages are overlapping. The other option is to maintain the time gap. So if I change a deadline, all pages will move at the same time. Or finally, I can decide to not shift at all, but this can cause conflicts and overlapping of dates. The date in question that is considered for these three choices can be modified here. And I can also choose to separate start and end dates to use both dates instead of just one. There is also an optional setting to avoid starting or ending tasks on weekends. And finally, once I'm happy with my settings, I can just click on turn on dependencies to activate the feature. Now, if I want to, I can come back to it. And now the last option is to go to the advanced settings. And then from here, I can choose the relation property that represents the items that are blocked. So you can switch the pages that are blocked by and blocking each other, a bit like the sub items. Then the pages that are blocking or blocked by other pages are linked by a yellow arrow on the timeline view. And you can decide to show or hide these dependencies in view by clicking this option. 
Okay, now we're going to create and use both sub-items and dependencies in a database. So I've just opened in Timeline View my database called Tasks with a few pages already. By the way, if you want to learn more about the Timeline View in general, I've made a full video about database views, which you can watch here. So let's start by going to the database settings, click more settings. So this database is already a task database, which is why we see subtasks and not sub items. Let's click on that and turn on subtasks. Now I can add subtasks to the already existing task by opening the toggle of the task and clicking new sub item, either from the table if it is opened or directly from the timeline view below the task. I'm going to show you that if you add it from the table, the date will not be set, contrary to if you did it from the timeline view. So it will still appear as a subtask in the table, but eventually you will have to open the page and set the date or click on the timeline anyway. Okay, now I will rearrange this timeline so we can go on with dependencies. Okay, good. Now it's the same process than before. Let's go to the database settings, click more settings, dependencies, and I'm gonna keep the shifting option as default, but uncheck avoid weekends. And there's no need to toggle on separate start and end dates in this case, because there is only one date in the database, which is a deadline. So it will use the full period of this property instead. And then let's click turn on dependencies. So in appearance, nothing has changed, but actually if I hover over a page and go to the right edge, a yellow arrow appears and I can click that and drag it wherever I want to link it to another page or sub page. I just have to drop it next to the left edge of this page. Actually, if I had done that without having turned on dependencies, it would have opened the settings page that we've seen before to prompt me to enable them first. When you drag this arrow, you don't have to link it to the page just below. You can actually link it to any page in the timeline. Of course, you can create more than one dependency per item. And if you link it to a page for which the start date is before the deadline of the other task, well, the behavior will then depend on the dependency settings that you've set. But in our case, with the default settings, the start date will be modified and the task will move on the timeline. Actually, whenever you change either the start date or deadline and overlap pages, then some dates will be modified automatically. Finally, you can click on the red cross to delete dependency. And if there are more than one, then it will first delete the one that you added last. So what I haven't shown you is that when I turned on subtasks and dependencies, it created two relation properties for each which you can either see in a table or when opening a page, there are four new properties, block by, blocking, parent task, and subtasks. You can actually manage your items from here and everything we've seen before. That's the other way to do it, but it's much less convenient. Okay, let's wrap this up. Now you see that when combining sub items and dependencies, especially in the timeline view, you transform Notion into a powerful project management tool. As always, don't overcomplicate it. It's just another tool to improve your productivity, but don't use it if you don't need it. Hey friends, I hope you got value from this video. Please like it if you did. If you want to take your Notion setup even further, head over to thenotionbase.com to find the best free and premium Notion templates in the game. And if you have any questions about Notion, drop them in the comments. I read everything and I might choose your question for a future video. And of course, if you're not already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until then, keep notioning and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.